Hi, this is Charlie and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up some domain name settings, uh, DNS settings, uh, sorry not domain names, DNS settings on your cPanel account uh, so that you can uh, point your web hosting domain to your hosting provider if it's registered with someone else and you're using email services elsewhere. So let, let me give you the background to that because that's a bit confusing right there. Let, let's um, look at the example that I was given uh, this morning and, and how I'm going to resolve that. The client has registered their domain name with GoDaddy, which is fine. They're, they're, a, they're a domain name registrar and they're using the email services provided by GoDaddy. Now what I wanted to do was just say, look, just point all of your domain name to the web hosting provider and they'll handle it from there. But because they've got email services in another location, we actually need to set up a few things on the hosting provider before we point the domain name to it so that their mail doesn't break. That's really, really important. If people's email break, they get really stressy and I can't say I blame them because email is my lifeline. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can make those changes and uh, limit the possibility that email will go down or, or stop working whilst you're, you're making these changes. So there's a couple of things that you need to do. The first thing we're going to do is um, you'll see that I'm logged into the cPanel account already. You do need to log into your cPanel account. What I'm going to get you to do uh, is bring up the DNS um, settings box. Now, I could scroll through here and try and find it. There's a lot of information on the screen. What I'm going to do though is in this uh, search function at the top, I'm just going to type DNS and immediately I get the options that I'm looking for. I'm going to go to uh, advanced zone, no, I'm going to go to zone editor because these two have been basically replaced by zone editor in the latest version of cPanel. You'll see that under zone editor I have got uh, two domains already listed. What I'm going to do is change the domain, uh, the MX records. MX is mail exchanger records uh, for one of the domains. I'm going to have to do it for both, but I'm going to do it for one at a time. So uh, under the first domain, I'm going to click MX record. Now it's going to give me a pop up and it's going to ask me what the priority is and what the destination is. I'm going to get those from the other hosting provider to begin with or from, from the DNS settings that are currently set. So this is a kind of a multi-step process and you're going to be flicking between windows. Now what I'm going to do is go over to GoDaddy. You'll see I've already got GoDaddy loaded up in another tab on my browser. I'm going to go to sign in and I'm going to click it sign in button. You will need to have your customer number and the password for the account available. Okay, so the password, um, you've got to enter that. Now you will have been sent all of this information when you registered uh, your domain name at GoDaddy and if you're doing this for someone else, they will have this information. If they don't have it, they're going to have to go and find it because you can't get access to the account without it. Uh, click on the sign in button, ignore my RoboForm pop-up, and you'll see that I have two domains registered with GoDaddy. It, this is just coincidence at this point. You can have a lot more domains registered on your hosting uh, on your on GoDaddy than you can or on your domain registrar than you're hosting on your website. In this case, it's just uh, coincidence. Uh, we've chosen to modify the second domain. So what I'm going to do is go to the DNS button uh, under the domain section in your My Products tab. So My Products here at the top left domains, uh, find the domain that you're, you're trying to modify on your hosting provider and click the DNS button. And you'll see that I've already got records set up here. Now this is because this domain is already using the GoDaddy domain name service. Uh, what I'm looking for in this list of records is the ones labelled MX and you'll see that there are two one is smtp.secureserver.net and that's a priority zero. So what I'm going to do, because I'm lazy and I don't like typing things, I'm going to highlight and copy. I'm going to go back to my zone editor. The priority was zero and the destination was smtp.secureserver.net. I'm going to click add MX record. And there was a second one, so we're going to bring up the box again. We're going to go back to the tab we were just on. We're going to highlight the second one. 
and you'll see it's a priority of 10. We put 10 in and we click paste and we click add MX record. Now what I'm going to do um, for, for that domain is we're going to go to manage and we're going to look for the MX records. Now um, here under zone records you'll see that we can filter for all the records or I can filter just for the MX records. Now you'll see that um, there are the two that I've just added, SMTP secured server.net and mail store one dot secure server.net. You'll see that there is an existing MX record. Now that's because it's standard on a cPanel account. We don't want that record anymore. The reason we don't want it is because we're going to use the GoDaddy services. So what we're going to do is click on the delete button for the one that we don't want. Now I'm just going to cancel that out and show you that again. So I make sure I've got the right line and it's chirf.org um, and it's telling me that its destination is pointing back to the server. We don't want to use this server for mail so we're going to just get rid of it. So once I make sure I've got the right entry, click on delete. And voila, we now have um, chirf.org pointing, or sorry, the mail services for chirf.org pointing somewhere else entirely different. Now this doesn't have to be just for GoDaddy, this could be for any number of mail services providers including Google Apps, uh, but that's how you do it. You, you, you've got to get the MX records that you need to set from your hosting provider, then you need to add them to cPanel as we've just done. You need to make sure that any old uh, MX records are deleted otherwise they're going to conflict and give you no end of hassles and once that's done you've now set up your MX um, records so that when your domain points to your hosting provider it will use someone else's mail services. That's all you need to do uh, for, for, for this part of the process of pointing your domain name. I hope that has been helpful for you.